So a big weather front is coming in and our trip last night, which was meant to be Northern Lights, was cancelled. And our trip today was meant to be going and seeing the glaciers and the south of the island and has been cancelled today due to a big storm coming in. So what we're going to have to do today is show you what to do in Reykjavik when Iceland shits on you. So we'll coat it up, let's go and explore Reykjavik. a email saying that our third and final trip has been cancelled so it looks like we're going to be spending the rest of our days in Reykjavik getting drunk. So today I'm here to speak to you about how expensive Reykjavik is to go on the drink. A uh, pint of gold sets you back about eight English pounds, a pint of Guinness roughly nine pounds. If you like spirits anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds a spirit mixer, cocktails roughly the same price if not onwards and upwards from that. Key to success on going on the piss in Reykjavik is going at happy hour where pretty much every drink is 50% cheaper. The only problem with happy hour is it generally runs between the hours of 3 and 7 o'clock. Some places it's on until 8 and it doesn't start again until generally 11 until maybe 1 or 2 in the morning. So we use this period of time to generally keep ourselves hydrated we picked up some mineral water at the airport. Uh, it's some fine glacial melt all the way from Finland. We'll be taking this out with us. Keep hydrated, keep safe. So I generally find that if you just take your mineral water with you, obviously put yourself in a decent sized measure and then to make sure that you look cool, just buy some coke to go with it. And there we go, bottoms up. Mm. You Reykjavik. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go check out the bars in Reykjavik. Happy hour, let's go. at like 2 in the morning in the snow I don't know where I am but we're going this way with chocolate and apple sing <laughs> let's go day number three and another sunny day in Reykjavik morning of us being in Iceland it's a bit sad that we didn't get to see anything of the countryside but woken up to a nice sunny day so maybe we'll get to see something before we go 